Now, here let us say that this distance is x 1 and let us say that x 2 arrives at this point x such that x 2 is at a distance m plus half lambda ahead of s 1. That means x 2 is m plus half lambda units ahead of x 1. So, in terms of phase what do I mean? So, if this has a phase of alpha as you can very well guess this has a phase of alpha plus 2 k plus 1 pi. Now, when that happens what will happen? When that happens if this s 1 has a maxima at this point, this s 2 will have what? It will have from here you can clearly guess that this will have a minima at this point, at this point, right? Because for s 1 I can write a sin alpha and for s 2 I can write a sin alpha plus since it is 2 k plus 1 pi ahead. So, it's 2k plus 1 pi. Now, sin of alpha plus a quantity like uh, which is an odd multiple of pi is always minus a sin alpha. So, you can see that at this instant of time, these two waves are cancelling each other. This provides a maximum positive displacement, S2 provides a maximum negative displacement. So, S2 is interfering with the displacement of S1, but it is destructing the interference of, it is destructing the displacement of S1. Now, at some instant of time, this will have a negative displacement due to S1. At that point of time, S2 will have a positive displacement here. So, this one S1 has a negative displacement, S2 has a positive displacement. Again, they cancel each other. So, again, both are destructing the displacements of each other. So, this is known as what we call as destructive interference. When both S1 and S2 try to cancel the effect of displacements of each other, which have a something which is called destructive interference. And as you can see here, the condition for destructive interference is that this S2 should be m plus 1 by 2 lambda times ahead of S1 or the phase difference between those two can be 2k plus 1 pi. So, so now this was my equation for the phase difference. So, for destructive interference, this should be equal to 2k plus 1 pi. And for constructive interference, this was equal to 2k pi. Okay? Now, let us take the case of the Young's double slit experiment and let us understand why we had light bands and dark bands. What happened was in Young's double slit experiment was there was a single source S0 and there was a board here very narrow slits here and at a very distance you had a screen. This distance was very large compared to this width or the slit width what we call small d. So, small d is very less than capital D. Now, what Thomas Young observed was that there were alternate dark and white bands formed on the screen. Now, if I see the screen from this side, from this side, what he observed was there was a dark band, there was a light band, there was again a dark band, there was again a light band, dark band, light band. So, a pattern like this was observed. Now, he explained this phenomena with the wave theory. Now, let us first understand why we have a dark band. Let us say that this was the screen and at this place we have a dark band. So, exactly what happens? Light from S1 and S2, remember that we are getting S1 and S2 both from, from the same source. So, whatever phase changes occur in this source S are reflected in both the sources simultaneously and so the phase difference is maintained constant. So, okay, fine. So, this waves travel from source S0 to S1 and S2 and by Huygens principle both S1 and S2 now act as source for waves. So, they wa emit waves in all directions. So, waves from S1 and S2 reach at this point. So, now if both the waves from S1 and S2 reach here, then why do I have a dark spot here? The reason is that, let us understand the reason. See, S1, let us say it is X1 distance, S2, this distance is X2. Now, let us put here, this distance 2 pi lambda delta X 
plus this delta phi source here is zero because we have the same source s1 and s2 both derive their light waves from the same source this now becomes 2 pi by lambda delta x plus 0 is equal to delta phi the phase difference now i am getting a dark band here that means what the intensity here is 0 the final intensity what I observe here is zero. Now let us recall what is intensity of a wave. The intensity of a wave which we will discuss for now you just remember the formula that intensity of wave at any point is given by if both have the same amplitude the intensity of wave is given by 4i 4 i naught square The intensity of the wave is given by 4i cos square phi by 2. This is the average intensity what an instrument will measure. Now, since the intensity here is 0, that means what this angle phi has to be a multiple of 2k plus 1 pi. This phi is actually what the phase difference between the two waves, it is actually del phi. So, this angle should have be, been equal to 2k plus 1 pi. So, when that, that happens, this quantity is 0. Now, when delta phi is equal to 2k plus 1 pi, what does that mean? That means we have this and what is this? This means that we have destructive interference occurring here. So, whenever wherever I get a dark spot, that means their destructive interference is occurring. Now, when destructive interference is occurring, that means what? Whenever this has a maxima, this has a minima, this is 0, this is also 0, this is negative, this is positive, this is positive, this is negative. So, both of these waves cancel the effect of each other at this point. So, the final intensity here is 0. Now, at some places as I told, I get a darker band, sorry, a lighter band. Why does that happen? Let us understand. At these points, the average intensity was found to be 4i. That means, delta phi is what? That means delta phi is equal to at this point is equal to 2k pi and delta phi equals to 2k pi means what? It means we have a constructive interference which means both the waves are trying to help the displacement produced by both of them. Okay. Okay. So, this was briefly about the experiment which Thomas Young had performed. So, now let us summarize with what we have learned till now.